Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're here in the city of Abydos where the water is electrified and the people are miserable. Wish you were here instead of me. Um, I was gonna make a comment last time about how uh, you know that everybody didn't actually dress like this in ancient Egypt, right? And I thought, well, I guess these guys could be like. You know, nobles or something. I mean, it's hard to say. I need to find two more Abydosian pearls for some reason. And, uh... What's that? No, that's nothing. Oh. That's not nothing! I was just looking at a piece of the platform down there. But, uh... This... This is much more helpful in the short term. Let me guess. You found an Abydosian Pearl! I have no doubt I can drop down there before the thing disappears, but... Oh! Actually! Yeah, there was, uh, a note I looked up between episodes because I forgot to make it so far in the session. Uh, Shane Reeves left a comment saying that, uh, he was surprised that, uh... Actually, no, that was someone else, wasn't it? Yeah, I wrote down two of them. My bad. Ugh. It was, like, a minute ago, and I've already confused them. Um... Clunk279, sorry, was surprised that the Blade of Osiris is a straight blade instead of uh, being a Kopesh-style sword, which would have been much more likely to appear in Ancient Egypt. What was Shane Reeves' thing? Yes! Uh, he was confused that uh, Horus fell off the lava waterfall, given that they implied that the dude could fly. You know, like, hey, he just automatically appeared at the top of that uh, cliff and it said, oh, this is too high for you, isn't it? I don't know. I, the less I think about that opening bit, the better. The story does seem to be being told a bit better now. I mean, the setup is rough, but it's like... Find the Canopic Jars, restore Tutankhamun's soul, that I can deal with. That's a goal. It's gotta be in here somewhere, right? How the fuck did I miss that? That's just embarrassing. Okay. Oh, it loops around to the, the infenced in bit, doesn't it? It does! Found an Abydosian pearl. And I'm rich. Oh my god, I'm just trying to go just far enough to go over the edge, and it keeps shoving them off. You know, because I don't want to go flying into the water again. Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> yes, that's three Abydosian pearls. Thanks. I think I'll take my wife to see the jewel collection in the museum. She'll love to wear the necklace for that. You can use this key to open the door to the upper walkway if you wish. Nice. Use it to open the stairs to the, upper, to the well area balcony. No, I just need to remember where that stupid locked door was. 
stair yeah, the key to the stairs in the whale courtyard allowing access to the Abydos canals. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. The necklace is perfect. The wife won't notice a thing now. <laughs> My wife thinks electrified water is part of some plot against the mayor. Did they even have mayors back then? I didn't think there were, like, places big enough to be called a city that didn't just have a pharaoh living in them. <laughs> Have you explored our beautiful city yet? There's lots of great things to do here. <laughs> you could just tell her you, that you lost the pearl necklace. I mean, you've got a replacement pearl necklace. It's not like it's a fake or anything. I'm just saying. It's an option. Okay, that's the door that doesn't want to talk to me. That's the door that leads to the corridor. So it's got to be this one. But first, I'm going to go save. I walked too far. Yeah, there's lots to do in Abydos, except in this specific region. When the uh, museum is closed. Slick. It's a fast-ass staircase, I gotta say. Ah, unexplored areas. What do you do? Montu's Monster Shop. New monsters, now in stock. Well, I guess we finally find out what that's all about. That's a thing we can do, loading screen. Yeah, I guess they, uh... Yeah, I guess there was a reason why they, the game so heavily hyped when there was only one loading screen when you loaded the game, and then it was seamless. You know, once that technology became available. It's because games in this era had loading screens all the damn time. Funky. I like this lizard guy. He seems cool. Shell critter. 360 scarabs? This one appears to be a zombie, because it's got ribs sticking out. Yeah, yeah, that's meat, all right. It's not like it's just got spines there. Rat. 100 scarabs. The fuck kind of messed up rats do you have in this place? How about Trico over here? What's he cost? Small frog. 70 scarabs. Oh, okay! You like the like the lizard the who was living in the lava and spat me out. It looked like that, only way bigger. And, you know, a different color. Mummy bird. 300 scarabs. I don't even want to know. Toucan Sam, 900 scarabs. Oh, I get it. Um, a shuttlecock is the thing that you hit in badminton, and it's uh, the frill on its head looks like a uh, looks like a shuttlecock. Yeah, okay. Featherless turkey, 700 scarabs. You got a zipline handle. You could use all the ziplines in Abydos to get places. And the museum is giving one away to anyone who donated a monster to the collection. Cyril Sneer? Montu, I presume. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Montu's Monster Shop. You can sell your monsters here or buy a new one for our extensive catalog. Want to buy a monster? Just go over to it and pick it up yourself. Of course, you can't release your monsters in the city. That is absolutely forbidden. Especially after that nasty incident with the mayor last year. He couldn't sit down for weeks. I kind of get the impression that the mayor is a doofus. Yeah, it just seems to me in that era, uh, a place would either be a city with, like, 
royalty living in it. Or it would be like a tiny-ass village that would have, you know, at best, a village chief or village elder. Whoa. Whoa! Not bad! Sorry about that. I needed to sneeze. Huh. Music hitched up when I did that. I didn't do it that time. You can't release your monster? What is the whole monster collecting thing? Hello. Let's see some identification. Mm, I appear to have misplaced it. Yes, yes, a likely story. No identification, no entrance. We can't go letting just anyone have access to the council chambers. So get lost! Grand Canal. See, he's doing his job, but he's being a dick about it, so... Here you are. What kind of identification is that? I need papers if you want to go to the council chamber. Get out of here, time waster! Grand Central Station. Are you okay, dude? Thanks, friend. You are a generous man. Thank you. Okay. Paneb's pair matching place. Make money with memory. I could absolutely game this system by, the, by virtue of the fact that I'm recording this. Let's see if I can do it legit. Sorry, but you can't play unless you have a blowpipe. What? You've never completed this game. Does that mean that no one has ever completed the gauntlet? Just said three zero is listed. It didn't say that. Oh, I see. I have to shoot them. Word of advice? Save costs, move to a smaller area, and use cards. I said, you know, I need papers for identification, which means they have mastered the technology of making paper. I wonder whose idea it was to, you know, what... Oh, it's a door! Whatever it is, I'm not buying it. Sorkon's Sequence Shack. Successful sequences score scarabs. Splendid! I don't know what you are, but, uh... Let's we'll see if we can do business. Welcome to the Mystical Sequence game. For the reasonable price of five scarabs, you may test your skills in my magical shrine. It's the Simon minigame again! I see it over there. Yeah, no thank you. Scarabs don't honestly seem to be that difficult to come by. I was hoping for a store, you know? Buying health, or... I don't know. Ammo for... The blowpipe, maybe? Ooh! Look at that, I'm back out of 95. My generosity has not cost me in the long run. Ah, 
I uh, can't look down. Okay, no, I shouldn't walk off there. That would be silly. Sup? Hmm. Is the gold thing his face or a mask? I honestly can't tell. Just checking. That is not an option. Just trying to wonder. Even if it is a legally registered trademark, I think they could have gotten away with calling this Simon's Sequence Shack. But I don't know, I don't think it would fit with the theme. How about down here, then? Down here doesn't lead anywhere. Well, shit! That doesn't work. Went to all the trouble of earning a new area. And there's nothing I can do here! It's not like a papers shop or anything. I'm having dinner, come back later. Oh! God damn it, now I get it. I'm gonna go buy a monster, and uh, the, the, the museum will suddenly be open and ready for me to donate. Let's just see if the watery jug is still there. It is! Okay, let's go buy that 100 gold, uh... Sorry, 100 scarab... Uh, thing. Leap! Seriously, I'm gonna have to do a straight vertical leap in order to get up there. How come you don't have jumps like that out here? Shame Tut's dead. Now he'll never teach me the mad hops. What am I even saying? Um. So is Tut, like, the chosen one? And he's the only one who can stop evil from conquering the world? Is that why he's been, uh. Well, you know, murdered? These are, you know, these are the expensive ones, aren't they? Ah, oh, good. This horrible fucking thing. Rats cost 100 scarabs each. Would you like to buy one? Rat. An annoying creature which refuses to give up the chase until it sunk its teeth into something. Most commonly found living in and around populated areas. God damn it, camera, where is it? Yeah! What is that? That keeps happening. I think I'd be concerned if that much grit was falling from the ceiling in, like, my fucking store and not, like, an ancient stone tunnel. So I guess I head back this way. Can I just jump down from here? I can. The guard's gone. Enjoy the museum, sir. Have a pleasant day, sir. Move along, sir. I can take a hint. Oh, uh, you have a good one too, friend. 
thank you for, you know, allowing me to get in. Now that the game plot has determined that I... What? Oh. I thought it was just expecting it to be smaller than this for some reason. Abydos Museum. We are open from sunrise to sunset every day of the week. While admission is completely free, donations of any kind are always welcome. The museum itself stands as a testament to the great architecture of our times. While our great tombs and temples mark respect for the dead and, our, and the many gods, this museum stands proud as a symbol of life. Welcome to Abydos Museum, a city well known for saluting the true spirit of the great Osiris, now proudly exhibits the most beautiful and extensive collection. This museum honors the great history, science, and culture of Abydos. Hall of Jewels. The jewels on display are some of the most beautiful artifacts ever encountered. While experts have determined some of the facts surrounding these enigmatic, ju enigmatic jewels, many of the finer details remain shrouded in mysteries. Mystery. I don't know why I said it in plural. Sorry, sir, the Hall of Jewels isn't open yet. What, should this be the guy who was outside? Now I'm pestering him again. You know, the thing about masks and armor, they make everyone look the same. If you go to the reception, you might be in time to catch the mayor performing the grand opening, sir. Hall of Jewels will be open shortly after the grand opening. Okay. Hall of Jewels, Abydos Museum proudly hosts the finest collection of jewels in the land. Gathering these priceless artifacts began many generations ago, and they have been discovered scattered across the world. Due to their uniqueness, the jewels have been placed in impenetrable maximum security cases. To avoid confronting our armed guards, please keep well back while observing these exhibits. Oh, he just says that one now that he said the first one. Well, we could go to the grand opening, but uh, the timer went, and I'm not eager to impinge on a fifth video again, so I'm going to go save the game and call it a session. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, when we donate our rat to the Abydos Museum and see where our zipline handle can get us. Later!